This is the new Mac Mini from Apple, running the M1 chip. And I know, I know, this is not a Chromebook, and you all come to our channel to watch videos about Chromebooks, but hear me out. This computer and the M1 chip inside is an important device because it shows us what an ARM processor is truly capable of. So let's dive into a couple of the details about this Mac Mini and why I think everyone should be excited about the future of ARM processors. Today's video is brought to you by our thriving and awesome Patreon community, where we offer things like behind the scenes footage, early access content, access to our private Discord channel, and an ad-free experience over at chromeunbox.com, both on the desktop and mobile versions of our website. If you'd like to learn more, just head over to patreon.com forward slash Chrome Unboxed. So we bought this Mac Mini a couple of weeks ago because we were in the process of shopping around for a new editing machine to replace our 2016 MacBook Pro because it was just getting really sluggish. But then we saw Apple's keynote where they confirmed the new line of Macs were indeed going to be running an ARM-based system on a chip. And so at that point, I, I was sold. And part of the reason I was sold was because of the price. This Mac Mini cost us about $1,300, which is a lot cheaper than the other option that we were considering, which was a Mac Pro trash can style, and we were going to end up spending probably around $3,000 to get that desktop. And then the reviews started coming in, and we were blown away at how good these chips appeared to be based on those early benchmarks. So we decided to make the move, partially because we needed a new editing machine, and it looked like Final Cut was going to run really well on this machine, but also so that we could test an ARM processor that was claiming this type of performance. All right, so let's take a step back here for a second. What exactly is ARM? ARM is basically the company that creates and designs the processor architecture and then sells licensing to other manufacturers like Qualcomm and Samsung. It's pretty likely that the smartphone that you have or the tablet that you use is powered by some sort of ARM chip. And we've seen Chromebooks with ARM chips like the Lenovo Chromebook Duet, but Robbie has a whole separate video on ARM chips, so we'll link that one below. But this Mac Mini and the other laptops that Apple announced are the first ARM chips that are getting this sort of performance, and it's mainly because Apple has a full licensing agreement with ARM so that they could really build this chip exactly the way that they wanted, and they weren't using some sort of like off-the-shelf processor from ARM like other manufacturers do. So really, from the ground up, this chip was built to run the latest version of Apple's operating system, and it works extremely well, especially with Apple software like Final Cut. And it's because of all of this that we were so excited about this device. So, all right, that's why we bought the Mac Mini. Now let's talk for a second about the specs. We purchased the Mac Mini with 16 gigs of RAM and one terabyte of internal storage. Everything is integrated on this chip, what they call a system on a chip or an SOC. So we decided to get the most RAM available since we knew that we weren't gonna be able to upgrade any of the internals in the future. It has good connectivity, it looks really nice on the desk, it's small, it's out of the way, and it has kind of that typical Apple design aesthetic that you would come to expect with an Apple product. But this isn't a review and you can find all sorts of great reviews out there. So let's get down to the real world test that we ran to determine whether we were gonna keep this device or have to go buy some sort of Intel based editing station. So here's what I did. I took the exact same project that had some graphics, multiple clips, some color grading, and was about seven minutes long. And I copied that over to the new Mac Mini from the MacBook Pro and then started the export at the exact same time. I made sure the MacBook was connected to power and both machines didn't have any other applications open during this experiment. And I could tell right off the start that the M1 was gonna probably do a pretty good job because at one minute, it was already at 20% of the export and the MacBook was at about 2%. The MacBook did catch up a little bit about five minutes in when the MacBook was about 35% and the Mac Mini was around 63%. And then the Mac Mini got to about 10 minutes and it was already at 84%. And I looked over and the MacBook is at 59%. And then boom, at 10.08, the Mac Mini finished the export. And then I waited and I waited and then the timer hit 20 minutes and we were at 83% on the MacBook. 22 minutes, 86%, 25 minutes, about 88%, and then finally at 2506, the MacBook finished the export. So yeah, the M1 Mac was about two and a half times faster than the MacBook Pro at exporting the exact same project. 
the file in the end was the exact same size and I had the exact same export settings. So I was pretty much blown away at this point, but why does all of this matter? And why am I telling you about this here on the Chrome Unbox channel? Well, this experiment is a testament to what ARM is capable of when it is built from the ground up the way that this M1 chip has been built. And you can go look at other people who are talking about these chips and how impressed they are. And I would say most reviewers are getting similar results to what I experienced. So the question is, what, what would it look like if Google decided to make their own silicon? There's been some rumors. We've heard murmuring that maybe this is happening, but what if? What if Google decided to make an ARM chip that was built from the ground up for Chrome OS? A processor built specifically for Chromebooks. What would that look like? I think it'd be pretty awesome. And this Mac mini has me pretty excited about that possibility. But that's it for this one. Before you head out, make sure to go down there and hit that thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel, and make sure to hit the notification bell if you wanna get an alert when we put out new videos. I appreciate you all watching. See ya.